Now going to the next step, so I will connect to the Raspberry Pi so that make sure the Raspberry Pi as well as the laptop are on the same access point. So open up a terminal, type ssh pi at the rate raspberry pi dot local. It is prompting, we have to type yes. Connect, default password is raspberry. yes okay so first thing i will just update it the package list sudo app update press the dash y flag so it does not prompt you press enter So the package list has been updated. So this is the list required. So finally, I just clone the repo first mm, to find the URL. I just check in Chrome. So GitHub dot com slash Mister Tejas ninety nine. I don't know the exact name. Should be Wi-Fi extender. Yes. So I'll just copy the URL. Mm, I don't know if git is installed. First I'll have to install git. sudo app install git. Mm, press y. And wait for it to install. Okay, so done. I'll just clone the repo. Git clone. Just paste the URL. Wait, it should have pasted by now. Copy, paste. Yes. So it will clone. I'll keep this aside. So I'll just follow the tutorial now on. So I have to not type everything again and again. Mm, so if I scroll down, first I have to prepare the system D network day. So I'm using it instead of the host APD which we use to create the AP. So by the advantage of using this is there is no need to install extra packages also. So I'll copy the command one by one and paste it. I'll make it small. Yes. Okay, so not copied properly. Yes. Hmm. Okay, so I'm asking the networking and the DHCP service and moving the interfaces file which generally contain the interfaces like WLAN 0, ETH 0 now since this is Raspberry Pi it won't have ETH 0 so now I'm just replacing the text which is present in the quotes inside the resolve.conf so again it's not paste Yes, so permission denied, so I have to use it as sudo. Yes, so I have to edit my GitHub repo. One change I noticed. So, yeah, I'm using the systemd network. Oh, run the command, create a link. Yes, so now. Let me tell you, WLAN will be the onboard Wi-Fi and WLAN 1 is the Wi-Fi which is connected by using the USB. So there is no confusion. So now I will create an WPS applicant for each of them. Now 
if you have watched the previous video i have created a wps application.con file which was for the onboard wi-fi and that time it was only one there were no two files like for different wi-fi cards so i will create one for each so that one should create an access point other should create connect to the wi-fi so now i am configuring the onboard wi-fi chip so this is used to create an ap so i'll add it i mean i will create the new file first and just and just in windows there is always an error of copying so the file is created and enter the following text now if you say this first country you can change it to your country does not cause much problem only it is only required for the channels if you use different channels and all no problem so rest things ssid so this you can keep anything i'll just keep it repeat because it will be the repeated wi-fi repeater rest things you keep same change the password if you want I use the same Wi-Fi password for all one one seven zero. Yes, frequency for five gigahertz you can change, but my the other card which I'm using to connect to the client, it won't work. So I'm using two point four gigahertz for saving. Control X Y enter. Now give the permissions for the file for edit. and edit modify okay so now i just restart the wps applicant i am disabling and enabling you can use reload but sometimes the changes are not reflected so this old way is better okay so it is still not copied yes so now i will configure the usb wifi card which i will use to connect to the client same procedure but different detail first create the file paste the content this is the standard content which we find in wps applicant file paste it copy paste yes country same again like the previous one network ssid so here i will have to enter the details of the access point to whom i want to connect so that is home the wifi i am currently connected to yes so change the password 0975073 yes Control X Y Enter. We'll save the file. Same procedure. Give the permissions. Yes. Now restart WPS applicant. Yes. Now these are some of the properties which the Wi-Fi card will use. So first, I'll use for the onboard Wi-Fi. So I will create a new file. I will add the following details. Yes. So now starting from here, don't change this name WLAN zero. It's fine. Now address. You may keep it same as you want. One nine two one six eight or whatever. The rest of the things keep it same. the last part the dns you can change it to google dns or whatever dns you want now save the file control x y enter now again you have to create another file for the client to whom you will be connecting yes paste the details so since you are connected to a external network you can't generally configure much so we are using a ip which is provided by the dhcp of the access point to whom we are connecting 
control now save the file control x y enter now i'll just reboot it using sudo reboot 